excitement. What these members of this hate group are doing are taking advantage of the hospitality of members of the Georgia Muslim community. The statewide chapter says on June 28th, three people using false identities visited the Islamic Center of Savannah for an event, saying they wanted to learn more about Muslims. One of those who visited was Dave Gobatz, who posted a picture of himself in Savannah. In terms of anti-hate groups, the Southern Poverty Law Center says it's watching 10 individuals. Dave Gobatz is listed as one of those 10. Gobat sent out what he termed a report to his 14,000 subscribers, saying he visited three mosques in the area. He rated a mosque in Statesboro as dangerous and one in downtown Savannah as dangerous. Then he rated the Islamic Center of Savannah as extremely dangerous, saying it was a home for terrorists and their supporters and a training base for terrorists. Going into our houses of worship, lying about who they are, spying on people, and then going back to other hate group members and saying, hey, that house of worship that warmly welcomed me, it's full of terrorists, it's dangerous. That is incitement. They are putting a target on the back of these houses of worship. We're encouraging all mosques across the state to take a look at their pictures to make sure they can recognize these people if they enter their mosque. Dr. Edward Ahmed Mitchell says, unfortunately, threats are nothing new for the Islamic Center. You know, this mosque is, has dealt with this before. It was burned down years ago. They rebuilt. He hopes the safety concern will not deter Muslims from getting to know others. But I would encourage them and all other houses of worship to make sure they're reviewing their security procedures, make sure they are being warm and welcoming, but also safe and vigilant. The statewide chapter has also contacted Savannah police about this report just to be safe. And the Islamic Center of Savannah has also contacted the FBI. By the way, the center's board of directors is also meeting about this topic tonight. And we also emailed Dave Gobatz, the man in the report, who wrote this online report asking him why he had visited the mosque. We have not yet received a reply. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3.